I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of blah, 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 and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Now, you have people wanting to take away under God out of the Pledge of Allegiance, as well on the back of the dollar bill. <laughs> you have your president who's going around getting rid of Christ everywhere. You will not even hold a speech in a room that has a crucifix in there. You're all so focused on believing that the Illuminati, that Obama, that the Pope, RFID chip, all of this stuff is supposed to be the Antichrist. First off, the Antichrist is one person, but he does have a military as well. You are going to be his military. If you allow homosexuality, if you allow rich people to steal from the poor, if you allow anything that goes against Christ, such as abortion, divorce, if you allow any of that and even tolerate it as a person, if you tolerate it, then you are Antichrist. It's not even hard to figure out, folks. Christ has rules. If you don't follow his rules, then you are going against him. Then you are an Antichrist. You are a person who is against Christ. Very simple, very easy to explain. Now, granted that one day the Antichrist will come from Turkey. One day. But what you're doing today matters more than what he'll do. Are you saving souls? Are you going out there preaching the word of God? Are you telling people no? Are you showing people what's wrong and what's right? Are you doing anything good with your life? Or are you just watching shitloads of television? You see, if you are a follower of Christ, you're going to use your free time to witness to other people, to get them to join the cause. But if you are Antichrist, you'll sit behind a television watching football all day. Matthew 7.3 why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? Do you understand what that means? While you're looking around for the Illuminati and you're looking around for all the Satan worship and television shows and in movies and in songs, you yourself are worse. <laughs> you are. Because all these things that are taking place, such as the movies and the songs and all this shit, as bad as that stuff is, you don't have to watch it. You don't have to listen to it. But you have to live with yourself. You have to live with yourself. So what are you going to do? Are you going to sit there and spend your life foolishly? Or are you going to spend it wisely? Abortion, female leadership, all these things are against Christ. And if you allow it, and you say, go right ahead and do it, then you are saying, anti-Christ and anti-Christian is okay. When you believe in evolution, you are an anti-Christ. Do you understand that? Do you seriously understand that? That if you believe in evolution, you are an antichrist? It's no joke, folks. God himself says you cannot have two masters. You can only have one. So who are you going to go for? Are you going to go for Satan? Or are you going to go for Jehovah? Allah or Yahweh? Who is it? You can't pick both. Your government would love for you to believe that both gods are the same. <laughs> Not only do we Christians laugh at that, but the Islamics, Islamists, also laugh at that. You see, if you don't follow God's rules, and if you don't even bother to read God's rules, then why the hell should he like you? Why should he care about you? Why should he show himself to you? What have you done to make a move towards him? He doesn't come to everybody. You have to make the effort to go to him first. Why does every atheist say, I can't find God? Show me proof of evidence that God is real. I don't have to show them evidence. Evidence is all around them. They just have to wake up, but they won't do it. Why? Because that would mean that there's actually somebody in control of their lives other than themselves, and they can't stand that because in their eyes, they are their own God. They are Antichrist. I make you this promise right now. You will never come across an atheist who is not pissed off. They are all angry. You know why they are angry? Because I know, but pretty much more than every other Christian out there who's a little, you know, the average Christian, you know, the one that doesn't read the Bible or anything like that, the average atheist is smarter than them. <laughs> it's their own smarts that make them think that God is not real. They need to be in control. They have to have their own control. They must remain in power. So when you remind them that there is a God out there in a higher power than them, they get upset and they get offended and they get angry. If you uh, cuddle up to their anger... <laughs> 
give in to their demands of getting rid of God, then you are Antichrist. If you do not stop them, then you are Antichrist. And one day you will be judged for that. Very simple. So stop giving a fuck about the music world. Stop giving a fuck about the movie world. Stop caring about your fucking television. Stop it. What you need to do is change your life for the better towards Christ. Stop being an Antichrist. Christ has rules. Follow the rules. Learn the rules. If you don't follow the rules and learn the rules, you will always be an Antichrist. There's only two parties here, folks. Satan and God. Who are you going to follow? Who are you going to uh, submit to? You're going to have to submit one day. You can't even avoid it. It's, it's inevitable. There's even that saying, there's no atheist in a foxhole. And that is very true. Most, people, most atheists that are actually on their deathbed, they actually cry at the end because they know that their life is at the end. They believed all their life there is no God, so they end up dying that way too. And for them, there is no end. I mean, there is an end. It's just ended right there. They don't have Christ. Only Christ can lead you to the new world. <laughs> Only Christ can give you hope. Only Christ can lead you into paradise. If you refuse to accept him, then go off and die. Who cares? We don't need you. We're going to spend eternity in heaven with people who do believe in him. And we all will be together. All the good people of the world will be together. All the shitty people will be burning in hell. It's up to you. But where do you want to go? Do you want to spend all your earthly time sitting here thinking about what other people have to say? Are you going to be a normal human being and pick up that book and read for yourself what it has to say? Because I could tell you right now, everything that you know, that you ever heard from the Bible from other people, is complete false. You don't even know the stories because you've never bothered to open the book and read the stories. From everything I've heard from people all over my lifetime, I've heard tons of stories about the Bible. None of them are even in the Bible. What they say is complete fabrication. It's to do that. It's designed purposely to keep you away from the Bible. So why would you be so stupid enough in your lifetime not to pick up that book simply from what you've heard from other people saying to you? Why don't you get a little bit of a brain and say, hmm, wait a minute, if everybody's so against this book, maybe I should even just open up a page and read what it says so I can actually understand why people are so against the book. And then maybe you'll actually find out why they truly are against the book. Because everybody out there who's on a power trip does not like the fact that there's a leader above them that is in control and is in power because they like to believe that they are in power so that therefore they can act like they are their own gods. What do the elitists of the world want to do with us today? Well, they would like to kill off 90% of us. So that way they could be gods. That way they could be in power. That way they can be in control. Think about it, folks. Why do skyscrapers go upwards? If you have the money to build a big giant building, <laughs> why do you have to build it upwards? Why not left and right, sideways? Why upwards? Because you want to reach God. You want to act like you are God because you are a power freak in control who acts like everything has to bend to behind you and around you. You cannot accept the fact that you are just another pawn in the world and there is a big up uber leader above you. An atheist knows better than most Christians that God is real. They choose to go against God. They choose to. And then they choose to drag other people, innocent victims, into their scam. So that, that way they don't have to be alone in their little scheme of bullshit. Let me remind you of something here, folks. Very important. Atheism is the minority in every country. It doesn't matter what country you go to. Atheism is the minority. Not the majority. 